In Jacksonville, maintenance crews are going to be out today. They're checking for areas that are known to flood, making sure that everything's okay. Over yeah, there. just in case that the storm could bring us a lot of rain. So news for Jackson reporter Ashley Hardy joining us live. And Ashley, as we know, McCoy's Creek has a long history of flooding problems. It certainly does, and we've been showing you areas like McCoy's Creek that have had long, a long history of flooding. You know, right now we're actually here in the downtown area. We're right by the St. John's River to give our viewers some perspective, but we were talking about flooding problems. We'll flip around and just show you. You may remember it's been a few years, but we've actually seen Bay Street even experience some flooding as well, and that's why the city says not only will they be monitoring Elsa over the next few days, but maintenance crews will be out working on some of these troubled spots. So here's another troubled spot right here. I want to show you this video. This was actually just from last month along Cassett Avenue. You can see heavy rains brought in some very serious flooding pretty much turned the road into a lake. Now another one. Here's a look at Hogan's Creek where neighbors have been telling us flooding has been a problem for many years and some of them told us they'd really like to see something done about it. Now with all eyes on Elsa, News for Jack's reporter Jim Piggott spoke with the head of the city's emergency preparedness. This is what he told Jim. Are you worried about flooding? Flooding is a concern in any community, particularly if you have a storm that uh, impacts it. Uh, we monitor those conditions. We work with uh, our public works department. We work with JEA to make sure the infrastructure is in good shape and that people are prepared. Have you been talking to them at all since this storm popped up? Uh, we're having calls with all of our partners, uh, checking in with them, checking the weather, particularly encouraging people to monitor that over the weekend. Now here's another way the city is preparing earlier this week. We actually spotted some JEA crews trimming trees. This was in the Riverside area. The idea about this is to protect power lines ahead of possible severe weather in our area. Now this weekend also being a long weekend because the 4th of July, the city actually says that more resources will be made available for its on-call supervisor. Of course, all hands will be on deck and monitoring. Of course, we'll be monitoring as well. Keep everyone updated. Live this morning, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.